everyone, this is Susie Q of Susie Q's Bunting Babes, and welcome to my nursery room window. Today I have my full-bodied silicone Bethany with me. Um, she weighs in at a hefty 9 pounds 2 ounces, um, and she's going to be um, uh, with me today as we celebrate Theme Thursday. And um, Theme Thursday today is um, something found at a farmer's market. And so I'm going to be uh, laying Bethany down uh, just a moment here while I um, show you what I found for Bethany. And so um, today's theme was a little bit of a challenge for me because I don't have a lot of um, outfits that, that have fruits and vegetables on them. Um, but I do have this dress that I made quite a while ago. It's a strawberry shortcake dress. and um, so it's got the strawberries all over it, and, um, and it also it has the, um, the matching bloomers with the eyelet uh, lace along the edges and the collar also. And then I'm going to be pairing it up with this pretty little bow. And um, I'd like to try this hat on her. Um, this is uh, a hat that Sharon Kaminsky had sent me um, a few weeks back. And the eyelet goes, um, it matches perfectly with the, um, the eyelet that's the trim on her dress. So I wanted to try that out to see how it would look. So um, I don't know if I'll put the bow on or the hat on or both, but um, we'll see. And then underneath the dress, of course, I have this little slip that you've seen um, before. And it's also made of eyelet. And um, so the shoes that I've chosen for her are these. Um, they're the same color as the trim and as the strawberries um, that are on the dress. And then I have some white eyelet socks. So let's go ahead and get started changing Little Miss Bethany. And um, yeah, like I said, it was kind of a challenge for me today to find uh, farmer's market things, but um, I'll tell you what, I uh, since I live out in the country, um, out in West Virginia, we, um, we have a lot of people, including myself, that we raise um, vegetable gardens every, every summer. And so what we do with the, with the extra vegetables, um, now I haven't done this yet because I tend not to have extra vegetables, um, but what, what uh, a lot of folks do is they'll set up a roadside stand um, and then they'll they'll put all their fruits and vegetables out there on the roadside stand and then they'll put uh, like a sign out that tells you um, you know what's what's available and, and what the the cost is and so a lot of people in the summertime um, if if they're not growing a particular item in their garden, they'll go, they'll just take, take a drive around to the different uh, roadside stands and, um, you know, choose the fruits or vegetables that, um, that they like from the stands. And so I thought I would share that with you because it's sort of like a farmer's market in a way. It's a more, I guess it's a more personalized farmer's market. And so, um, another thing, um, that they sell. Uh, some people harvest um, honey from from bees uh, that that they um, that they raise, and so I I've, I've had their honey before, and that's really special too. And um, one of the an old wives' tale, and I don't know if it's true or not. It it could be absolutely true, is that if you if you eat honey, that comes from local bees, then um, you'll tend not to get uh, allergies, or it'll make your allergies less. So um, I don't tend to have allergies, so I haven't tried that yet. But anyway, I just thought I'd let you in on that little tale. Um, this is a, also a diaper that has strawberries on it. And so I thought that I could um, just leave that on her for today. And I don't think, it uh, doesn't feel like she's going to need a powdering today. Um, she feels really nice and smooth. She does have a um, bed head, but we'll fix that up. Yeah, won't we? 
So anyway, um, so let's go ahead and put her slip on. Now another way uh, that we do a sort of farmer's market out here is uh, people own these huge, big uh, plastic tents that are that are called ho uh, hot houses, and um, they raise all their their uh, vegetables inside that hot houses. And with a hot house, um, it's temperature controlled, climate controlled, and so. Um, they can raise vegetables all year long. It doesn't matter, um, you know, if it's if it's too uh, rainy or, you know, if it's too frozen outside. It just doesn't matter because of the temperature-controlled climate that's inside. And um, then they'll sell um, if a if they have um, big, huge tents like that. It's usually ones that are selling to supermarkets that are local. Um, but there's a place that we go to that's sort it's a it's an outdoor garden center and um, every year uh, we go to this outdoor garden center to choose um, the the plants for our vegetable garden and the reason that um, that I started doing that was because I wasn't having much good luck was starting from seeds. And I think it's because this, the seeds aren't, they're supposed to be um, packed and shipped to local areas, you know, um, around the United States. But for some reason, I just wasn't having any good luck with um, most of the seeds that I plant. And so we decided to try out um, the local outdoor garden centers. And I've had so much better luck with buying um, plants from them than, than growing my own seeds. Now, um, I do grow a, a couple of things from seeds, and that works out really good. Um, let's see. Green beans. I can grow green beans from seeds. Um, I get uh, usually a really prolific crop of, of green beans. And then... Um, Zucchini squash, I've had really good luck with, and also cucumbers. Uh, but I'll tell you, um, last year I, I had a really disappointing garden because of the fact that it was, uh, it rained so much, and um, the rain just really spoiled a lot of my veggies. One of the things that I love to grow is um, the grape tomatoes, and uh, this past year, even those got ruined by all the rain that we had. So, um, anyway, it's getting harder and harder, it seems like, to um, to have a vegetable garden if you don't have a, uh, like, a enclosed um, hothouse, that type of thing. Um, that's, that's what I found, anyway. Because when it rains, what happens is if, if there's too much rain, it... Um, it causes the vegetables to, to get moldy, and also the, the leaves get what they call blight, and uh, which is just too much rain, you know, too much water. They can't dry out in between rain, and um, they turn moldy and black, and it's just awful. So um, anyway, we've gotten so much more rain here in West Virginia. Uh, these past few years than when we first moved here, um, we first bought this place back in, I think it was like the year 2002, something like that. So, um, so the, the climate has really, really changed. Um, let me see. Okay, so here's the bloomers, and I almost forgot to put the bloomers on. But I caught myself this time. And the bloomers are, the, the leg holes are big enough to go right over the shoes. So I think we're, we're going to be fine. So I hope everyone's having a good week. Um, today's Thursday. And uh, for those of you who work, it's almost, it's almost Friday. I remember when I worked, I was, I always looked forward to Friday. I called it, or we all called it TGIF. And, um. Thank goodness it's Friday, or thank God it's Friday, whichever 
way you prefer to say it. Um, but yeah, it was always fun to have TGIF day. But today is not TGIF day. So um, let's see. I'm going to sit her up and I'm going to point the camera on her and see. Um, I'm not sure what I want to do. So let's just do a little experiment here. Uh, I, I definitely need to comb her hair. And I'm going to put this conditioner on it. Let's see if she'll. She has um, a ball jointed head. It's it's not a, a one pore head. It's a ball jointed head, so it's it's really floppy. And um, and the problem with this bottle is it's just too big and wide for me to hold with one hand uh, to spray. So that that can present a problem for me. But she held her head up. Uh, uh, long enough for me to get the spray on. Yeah, the the, the climate inside of our house is really hot. Uh, well, I, it's not hot, it's dry because um, we keep it the, the fireplace on 24-7 because it's been so super cold. And so her hair um, was starting to get fly away. But I think this this nice conditioner is um, taking care of that issue. So I'm going to right now, let's see, we'll sit her up like this. Yeah, she can sit up and hold her head up, can't she? Yeah, let's see, where's the bow? It's down here. So this is the bow. Um, I'm thinking, I you know, I, I could probably actually have both bows, or, or both things, the bow and the hat. Um, but isn't that darling from Sharon Kaminsky? Thanks again, Sharon. This is just adorable. And I love eyelid. And so, um, yeah, yeah, it looks like it's going to fit her really well. And I think I can just leave that bow on under there. I don't think that's going to hurt anything. So yeah, I mean, if, if Bethany is going to go to the farmer's market with me today, she's going to need a little hat to keep the sun off of her face. Because as you can see, I wasn't able to um, open my nursery room windows today because it's, uh, it's we still have snow on the ground um, and it's really, really sunny outside. And so you know what happens with um, with the glare. But anyway, I think I like this look. I think that looks really cute on her. So, I guess we are done dressing little Bethany. And uh, I think she looks darling in this little hat, this little bonnet. And so there's her little shoes. And she's all ready to go to the farmer's market with me today. Anyway, everyone, thanks for stopping by. And it was really fun visiting with you today. Um, hope you enjoyed seeing Bethany's strawberries. Um, and have a really, really good rest of your week. And I hope to see you soon. And until we meet again, bye-bye.